Homes across Northeast Ohio have battled lead levels in older homes. Lead poisoning can cause anything from long and short-term memory loss to comprehension issues and also some behavioral problems. Here in Cleveland, our kids are at a greater risk of having it, but many of them aren't tested. But now the Cleveland Metropolitan School District is pushing for testing to come meet the kids at school. News 5's Amanda Van Allen joins us now live. And Amanda, you talked to a mother whose son was diagnosed with lead poisoning many years ago. Absolutely, and he was actually on the brink of being expelled from school because he just kept acting up. But one day a school counselor pulled that mom aside and asked her if he had ever been tested for lead. And that conversation changed their entire lives. She asked me, have you ever had your child lead tested? And I said, no, and I asked her, I said, what is it? She said, well, lead causes behavior issues. Once Terrell Wainwright learned about lead poisoning from her son's teacher, she took him straight to the doctor. He tested positive for high levels of lead. The source was their apartment. Then the actual apartment building had high levels of lead. So they ended up, dem you know, um, demolishing that apartment building. Because of students like Bishop and hundreds of others in the city, the Cleveland Metropolitan School District is bringing lead testing into the elementary schools. We want to make sure your kids grow up and we want them to grow up healthy and educated. That was Debbie Aloshan. She's the director of nursing and health services for the school district and has been pushing to get the program in these schools for about two years because she says lead can cause lots of problems. Short term memory loss, long term memory loss, comprehension, not being able to uh, stay focused. According to the CDC here in Cleveland, 17% of children under six have five micrograms per deciliter of lead in their system, which they say is a cause for concern. But only about one third of city kids here are tested. The biggest portion is educating parents to get them to sign the consents, send them back. It's a simple finger stick for a child. We'll take care of everything else. As for Bishop, he's doing just fine now. Now, you know, he's 17, he's doing well, he's doing great. He's in um, MC Square making high test scores, um, and all it took was a little medicine to fix him. So by the end of this school year, the testing will be complete in about five to six schools. Next year, they plan to do half the district, and the following year, they're going to get everyone tested as long as their parents consent to it. We are live tonight in Cleveland. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.